Hey, in this video, let's go ahead and see how uh, we can control the shadows resolution um, here in Maya. So right now I have this uh, Mac uh, character and I don't have, as you can see in my outliner, I don't have any lights, nor are my lights uh, are on, right? So everything is off. It's just a mesh with kind of a default Maya lighting. So the uh, to play with the shadows, the first thing that I, obviously I would need is a ground. So I'm gonna grab my uh, plane and just create a plane for myself. Um, I'm gonna turn off the grid and I would like this plane to match the background color of my, uh, you know, of my, of my viewport. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select this uh, plane and then I'm gonna go to assign new material and what I'm going to do is let's type in background and I'm going to say use background. All right. So now I know that this uh, plane or the floor is going to match the background precisely. And if I turn off my wireframe, you can see that it's blending in uh, perfectly. Right. All right. So now let's bring in some lights. So I'm not setting this up for a fancy uh, Arnold rendering. I'm just wanting to set up a cool uh, preview in the viewport right so for that i'm going to go to create go to lights and do directional lights all right uh, i'm going to make sure that my lights are on so i need to make sure they're on and i'm going to scale them up so i could see it a little better and let's go ahead and kind of aim one in the front so i'll put one in the front of the uh of this mech here all right, something like that. Now I'm gonna turn the lights on so I can see what I'm looking at. And this is the part that I wanted to uh, show you guys. If you turn on the shadows on the ground, you will see um, that it's right there, right behind the character, right? And obviously as I move the front light, the shadow is gonna adjust the position. All right, so I have something like this. Uh, maybe for the sake of this example, it would be fun to add another light as well. So I'm gonna press Control D and spin the other light going the other way maybe something like this put it put it uh, kind of on the back of the character now this is a directional light so it doesn't the position doesn't really matter but the arrows are pointing this way right another thing i can do is just pump up the uh, intensity of that backlight to kind of give me maybe more of a rim effect and i do want to turn off the uh, second shadow right so i'm going to go to shadows and I'm gonna turn off my use ray tracing shadows. So now I have kind of the backlight and the front light and the front light has a shadow, right? Now, if I zoom in on the shadow, I can see that if I, for example, will end up using something like Play Blast to create a quick rendering of this animation, I can see that the shadow is very low resolution. So is there a way in Maya to increase the resolution of the shadow and the viewport? And there certainly is. So what you could do is you can select the light that has the shadow. And in this case, you can see it's this one. And it's using uh, ray trace shadows by default. But if I turn this off and instead use the depth map shadow, you can see in here there's a resolution slider. And now if I pump this up, um, you can see how much better the quality of the shadow is. So right now I have it all the way up to 8,000. Obviously, if I dial this back down, you can see that it's indeed controlling the quality of the shadow. And if you zoom in just a little bit out, um, obviously the 8,000 is gonna give you a really nice uh, result, right? So this is how uh, easy it is to control the resolution of your shadow, uh, of your shadows in, uh, in the viewport if you're not going to render out with Arnold and instead maybe just use like a play blast. So just to continue this video just a little bit longer, why don't we turn off the uh, lights? I'm gonna hide them. I'm gonna click on my uh, Mac here and press F to kind of uh, frame them a little bit better. And uh, next thing I could do is, let's say I wanna maybe add a little more uh, specularity so maybe i can make him just feel a little more reflective and i'm just using a standard foam material so nothing nothing fancy right but i think this is going to give me just a little bit 
better specularity, right? So it's kind of reflecting the light a little bit better. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this uh, character and I'm going to go to animation and under visualize, let's click on create turntable and the options. And it's set to 400 going counterclockwise, uh, which is uh, fine. So I'm going to say turntable. And now if I switch my timeline to 400, because that's what the turntable was set for, right? I can press uh, play. And I have this really nice turntable animation of my asset or my model. So I can do a quick preview, maybe send it to uh, someone for approval, or whatever the reason is, this is a really cool way to quickly present your work. Um, and it even has a little bit of uh, idle animation in the beginning, which I didn't finish, but that's not the point of this exercise. And the uh, only other thing I want to say is if you wanted to have your uh, turntable spin at the same speed without easing in and easing out, um, what you could do is go to this group that was created when we clicked, uh, when we created the turntable and the group will have two keyframes. So as you can see, it's one on zero and there's one on 400. If I wanted to change the speed of this, let's say maybe he's spinning too slow, I could just hold on the shift key and just drag my uh, keyframe maybe to 200. And obviously now he's gonna spin double the speed, right? So you can always control the speed at which he is spinning even after you create your uh, turntable. So I'm gonna actually put this back. And let's see, let's see so the, um, the easing in and out is controlled by, uh, if you select your group and make sure you can see both of the keyframes, you can go to Windows, Animation, Graph Editor. And once you pull up the graph editor, you can see the line, the animation line has the easing in and easing out. Let's go ahead and select both of these points and switch it to linear. And you can see the line became straight. I'm gonna hide my uh, graph editor. And now if I press play, it's going to spin the animation at the same speed without uh, easing in and easing out with beautiful, uh, clean, or uh, you know, as beautiful as it gets, but a high res uh, shadows in, in the viewport. And now of course, um, we can go to uh, playback and go to play blast and let's go ahead and do a quick play blast of this so i'm gonna switch this to uh, from windows fine i'm gonna leave everything as is i don't want my ornaments i don't want this to be seen and i'm just gonna do a play blast all right so here's my generated video if i press uh, play I can see what this looks like. And again, I have nice clean shadows, beautiful lighting, a nice presentation with the floor matching the uh, background color. And it's just uh, nice and clean. All right, so at this point, if I needed to, of course, I can save my video as a movie file and uh, send it to whoever I need to. All right, so thanks for watching. I hope you uh, found this useful and I'll see you in the next video.